What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Crypto Low, a.k.a. Low Key. I'm back with another video, man. Took a couple days off, well-deserved and well-needed. So, before I even forget, you already know I am not a licensed professional. If you're seeking professional financial advice, you come to the wrong place. But I am here to talk about a project and give you a little bit of the research that I came across and a couple of my own opinions, all right? So, if you're trying to get some information, this might be a good starting point, all right? Now, before I get to it, I would like to mention that this was another project that somebody mentioned in the comments to me. I respond to most of my comments, asked, you know, what were some projects that people were interested in, and this is one that I've been seeing in the market in general, and on top of that, I got it in the comments, so make sure you leave comments if you're interested in some projects, all right? Um, but... Obviously, if you clicked on this video, I'm talking none other than Bax Token or BAT, the company. Now, everything's down in the market. You already see what's going on. $312 billion market cap went down, $311. Um, stay safe out there. <laughs> you know how it goes. Crypto up and down, man. You got to know when to hedge, when to do all these other things. But nonetheless... Bab ranked 231 on coin market cap, currently trading on pretty much these decentralized exchanges, Bancor, um, and uh, also I did a video on DDEX, and I'll actually leave the card for that. Now, Bancor, I know Bancor is like, it plays kind of like a decentralized exchange, but I don't know if it necessarily is. I need to look into that. Either way, it's not on any of the major exchanges. And now <laughs> to the supply. Typically, when I see these types of supplies, I'm like, I don't really know. 50 billion, that's kind of a lot. And then 20 billion for its circulating supply. It's trading for just about a tenth of a penny. Well, a little bit more than a tenth of a penny. And uh, $37 million market cap. So its trade volume is 273. So. Just about a little over a quarter mil, which is not that bad for something that is not really on any big exchanges. It's really not that bad. But what is BAB and Bax Token? So it is the World Bank for the Microeconomy. Now, I know this might not be the most enthusiastic. Um, <laughs> Thing to see right here because so many different projects are going towards the unbanked you know there's about two billion people in this world that are unbanked right now and there's about seven billion people total so that's a large chunk of people that are left out you know the advantages of our current economy especially in places that have an infrastructure like America. There's people overseas in other countries that don't have that opportunity and something like this is created for them. Now, the one thing I can say is that my personal belief, we ain't gonna, we're not gonna be walking into banks 10 years from now. In a decade, 10 years from now, from 2018, you expect 2028 to really be walking into a physical bank location, a banking establishment? Chances are probably not. And if you are, there's going to probably be like way less than we are currently used to. We do so many things from our mobile phones and from our desktops, whatever the case may be, from these devices that there's almost no need to be going into the bank. Most of the time when I go there, it's to get cash, fiat. But that seems to become like something that's less and less. So anyway, with that being said... There is a video here that really breaks down exactly what they are, and I'm only just going to go over a few details covering what BAB is about. So, first of all, they have their product, which is the BAB app. Now, you can see the app here, and hopefully it loads up pretty well with my screen recording. It looks decent, okay. Opening a BAB account is going to be very simple. Pretty much anybody's going to be able to open one in the world by simply taking a selfie and saying a passphrase and that is going to be doing some uh, bio I don't know if that has to do with their biometric 
KYC process, but that's something that we'll talk about as well. Either way, that's how you sign up, pretty much. <laughs> that's how you get the bank account. Now, they are not necessarily a bank yet, but they are established in the UK. And you know what? Is it at the bottom of the page here? Okay, boom. So they have it here on their privacy policy. And look, so it's a UK registered company and they are an authorized payment institution. So an authorized payment institution, I can't sit here and tell you that I could break down exactly what that is. But when you go into their white paper, and I don't mean to be jumping around, but just to give you something, you know, off the top, you go to their short version. You'll see. Let's see. Okay. All right. Bab is already an authorized payment institution regulated by the FCA and applying for a UK banking license. So they're applying for a banking license. They're not a bank right now. But look, we can still operate even without the banking license as an authorized payment institution. We are able to do everything except for treasury operations. So they're pretty well established right now. They got their foot Definitely one big step in through the door if they do become a bank and get their banking license even better. But you might be wondering, okay, how are they a bank when they don't even have a banking license? Well, you can probably see everywhere that really it's we're the bank. <laughs> Everybody plays as a bank. It's going to be like a decentralized bank. There's going to be no actual establishment. It's going to be people peer to peer. We're all going to play as nodes. So, obviously, sending money is the main thing in any of these <laughs> any of these types of applications. It's sending money. So, you can send money to any other BAB user anywhere in the world instantly for almost no charge. So, you'll be able to send actual fiat dollars. You'll be able to send BAB. You'll be able to send pounds, euros. You'll be able to send the main currencies from all around the world. And I think that's probably why they want to get the banking license. There's probably some other specialties that they can get. But like they said, they just don't handle treasury operations. And um, it's going to be that simple. Now, this is what I'm a little bit... Con I don't know how I feel about this one. But it's still a pretty cool concept. People that want to exchange money for BAB tokens, you'll be using... It seems like you'll be using other people kind of like ATMs, <laughs> to be completely honest. Can we meet now? Yes, it's possible. I'll be there in 10 minutes, $50, boom, boom, thanks. It, it just, I think it seems like, you know, a decentralized ATM service pretty much used with like people who receive tokens in exchange for, you know, for uh, running the service for somebody else. So that's cool. Um, that seems a little, sh I don't know if people will be very comfortable with that. I don't know if, hey, I need a, to pull out 500, 300 bucks that I'm just going to go meet up with somebody and get the cash from them and transfer that. I mean, it's all on smart contracts, so that's cool. Now, the black card. This black card is actually going to be a card that you get. A, it's going to be very cheap. It's not actually going to hold your information on top of it. You're going to just be able to put your QR code on top of it. You connect the card to it, and then now you have a payment service. And ideally, anybody that has the app will be able to use and accept payments with this card. So instead of having a processing machine that um, like for Visa and MasterCard with debit and credit cards, anybody with the application will be able to scan the QR code or the NFC code. Is that what it's called? Yeah, NFC. And you'll be able to make payments through that service. So I think that that's pretty cool. Instead of trying to revolutionize the game by making everybody adapt to new machines as long as you have the application you'll be able to use the black card so that's pretty cool also if you lose the card you can just disconnect it that way you keep your funds nice and safe so you get a you get your phone app you get the card and you connect them together if you lose the card or anything you're able to just get rid of it if you want to issue a family member like a card or something like that you can just give that to them you know there's a whole bunch of options that you have here especially for people that are in the unbanked areas you know what i mean they can give their family members some cards their kids some cards however they want to do it they're going to be able to on this platform 
Um, also, not to mention, it looks like you're going to be able to send Bitcoin and Ethereum on this platform. What else do we have for... Now, they do talk about helping banks, central banks, get their own digital currencies. They believe that this is something of the future that is coming shortly. And I think that is very possible. Um, and they're going to need a platform. They're going to need somewhere that they can get help you doing this. And also, why not start with a bank that's already established? If they really do get their banking license and become an official bank and not just a payment processing company, then, or I'm not sure exactly what it entails to be the payment processor, but it definitely gives them a, 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 an advantage, a foot in the door. To me, this sounds like kind of uh, what Ripple is doing, except with an application and just keeping it all in-house. It's not with separate banks. But when you get into this here with uh, central banks, then I don't know. So uh, it, it's kind of like a... I can't really think of who would be their competition, which is a good thing. When I can't think of direct competition for you, that is probably a good sign that you are doing something that's somewhat unique, you know? So I really like that they have these things going on. You know, I just have a, a couple concerns, you know, being able to open a UK bank account from other countries. Are we going to have regulations that come into play where they put that to a stop? I noticed that some exchanges are not even accepting people anymore, you know, um, from certain countries like the U.S., which I'm from, like Gate.io, you know, you can't withdraw without your KYC, and they, they're cutting people off, and regulations are starting to come out. So I wonder what it would be like, you know, opening a bank account with the social KYC. <laughs> are there going to be some heavy regulations on this? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But really, that that's okay if if there are, um, and the reason is because they're going after the unbanked, where probably those regulations aren't going to be the same. Now, if the regulations do work to their favor, then it might work out well here. You'll get some of the actual banked people using this platform as well, because that's the thing. Getting the unbanked is one thing, but if you you got to get some of the people that are banked as well. You know, that's the only thing that really gives these types of platforms longevity is if you get a combination of people that aren't using services with the people that want to use your services as well, bringing new people onto the platform. So, um, that's, I think that's pretty much it for the main things. Cause I don't want to really go too far along. Uh, I did look at the team. I don't really know the people from the team, but when you look up their backgrounds, they've definitely been in the financial industry for quite some time now have a couple females on the team that's you know uh, sad to say that's something that we really need to see more often on these projects and i see it with them and that's a that's a good thing that i'm pretty excited about so <sighs> roadmap there you go this is the last thing i'm gonna go over that's the roadmap now roadmap a little frustrated because they they got a lot of details 2016 they've been around for a few years 2017 a couple of things then 2018, pre-sale, token sale, app launch in November. So they don't really got much going on as far as their roadmap. And it seems like it's going to take some time to get the app. Not that long when you really think about it. It's November. It's just a few months away. But, I mean, 2019, they have their second phase of the token sale. Another thing that's like, I don't know how things are going to work by then. Our regulations are going to start coming out as far as token sales and things of that nature. So really, I just want to see. This really seems like an interesting platform. You haven't, like I said, you plan on walking in a bank 10 years from now? Probably not. You probably won't. In, a, in an app like this, you'll be able to manage your funds, different types of currencies, and you'll also be able to get, you know, decentralized loans in, in, this, in a sense where, other peers can fund that loan for you. There are so many applications to this that, I mean, it can definitely go a very long way, especially for those that are unbanked currently. So, I'm not in, I'm not invested in this platform yet, and I'm I'm gonna be honest, I'm not fully, fully bought on this one. So I'm gonna do some more research and sleep on it a little bit. If you have some things that I missed out, just leave them in the comments. 
and let me know if I if I need to really get into this platform. Again, you know, this is not financial advice, and I won't take yours as either. Just some good information to share. Price prediction is rough, um, only because of the token sale, uh, the rest of the token sale that's coming out next year when they dump another twenty billion or ten billion, I believe it is or so, out into the market. So. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do a price prediction on this one, so that's why it's not in the title. It's just a review. All right, guys, so I appreciate you guys coming by and checking the channel. It's your boy, Crypto Low, a.k.a. Low Key. Let me know what other projects you guys are interested in. Um, leave some comments about this project. Leave some comments about my page. Hit that subscribe button. It's your boy, Crypto Low, a.k.a. Low Key Money. I'm out of here. Peace.